what is going on everyone thanks for stopping by welcome to the channel if you're new here i try to upload every two weeks um and i'll go between like a tacoma and the gx today we're going to be working on the gx because the other day kind of almost left me stranded so i had like a little mini heart attack until i kind of just opened my mind try to sit down and think this through so story time I was, I had a busy day at work and I decided to take the GX with me. I normally just take the truck because sometimes I got to get into some weird areas, but it was a pretty easy run. So I was like, let me take the GX. Um, for my second appointment, I am basically trying to park. I put it in reverse to kind of back up on the street a little bit. And when I put it in park, the GX stayed in reverse. So I'm like, hold on a second. I bring it back. And what's weird is that I felt like... The gear shifter was shifting through, you know, all of the stops on the selector, but it was staying in reverse. So I was like, man, I don't know what to do right here. So when I put it back in park, I actually just kind of shut it off, right? Well, if you don't know this, if the vehicle, the GX isn't in park or in neutral, it won't shut back on. So I'm like, man, tried to turn it back on just to see if it would clear anything that was going on. Nothing happened. So I'm sitting there right about now is when that like your heart starts to go because I'm like, man, I got nine more appointments to do today and I got nowhere to get there. I'm on number two of the day. So I was like, all right, let's think this through. And I'm kind of grabbed the gear shifter and I can feel it kind of sliding back with like no resistance. So I'm like, all right, man, what's going on here? I go to the battery. I disconnect the battery. I try to start it. it won't start, obviously, because it's not a park or neutral. So then I'm like, I got to take this apart. I got to look at this, right? So... I kind of start taking everything apart, like in the center console, and I'm, I watch the gear shifter slide back and slide up, and I don't notice anything like moving or wrong right away. And then I did it one time, and I felt like the cable kind of shift a little bit. So I was like, oh, what's going on here? So I was able to put it on where the selector says reverse, and then shove the cable back into the pin, and I was able to shift it and kind of go along that day. But so I guess this is something that happens with the GX where there's like a little tiny pin and this little tiny plastic piece, which by the way, I will link this part number if you need it. It's not expensive, but what you're looking for is that little plastic piece right there. It is going to sink in and lock the cable selector into the actual gear shifter because the gear shifter is just like a mechanical shift. Nothing else is going on without that selector, not connected. So we're gonna get into this today. Um, I would also recommend keeping, maybe I would recommend maybe keeping one of these in the glove box because when I had to remove everything, I obviously I'm, I'm driving around for work. I don't have any of this in the car. Um, I used a pen, so I potentially could have damaged some of the pieces, but I will look at them when we put it all back. But we're going to walk through installing this into the the car i already have taken it apart because i never fixed it from when i from when i took it apart to get me where i needed to go i never put it back together so we're gonna get into that today i want to say this is like 27 or 30 bucks and i think it's worth just having it just in case um what else can i think of so yeah if you have an issue where the gear selector isn't moving because there's other issues with the gear selector like i've noticed like kind of like a floppy gear selector is one of those issues this is not it the gear selector feels good it's just not turning the rod i feel like i've been talking a long time let me get you inside of the gx and we'll figure out how to fix it all right so this is how i've basically been driving for the last couple of days so i had enough time to fix it so what we're gonna do right now is figure out how to pop this off because if you look right now you see this cable see if i can get you into you see how that cable is off the pin on the pin off on off so if this slides off like this you're done this is just going to be able to shift and not do anything so what i'm going to try to figure out is how to take this off so we can do this and maybe open this up you could potentially get in there but i just feel like it's a pain in the ass let's figure out how to take this top piece off because i got a feeling that it's only held on by this pin right here so i'm going to set you up i'm going to try to remove this piece right now all right, so what we're gonna try to do is get this pin out. And it's kept right here with this little kind of a pressure washer. All right, I know this is a little bit of back and forth, guys, but so you know, essentially, I'm trying to create a little bit of a gap here, right? So then I can slide back in here and push that way um, just to get some leverage, right? But I can't do that without a little bit of a gap here. And this one's kind of being a pain.
I will take that. There we go. Now, let's see if I can with this one. All right. So I got that little lock washer off. I'm going to set that right there. Now let's see how easy. Perfect. All right. Let's set that right there. Now my hope, yeah, is that this will just pop off like that. But it looks like this little guy needs to stay in there or something. Okay. So we got to figure out how this went because this could have gone like this or like this. So we're going to have to figure that out real quick. Okay. So now you see how this is just moving around there. So I have a feeling that that's what locks this in. Okay. So here you can see where I bring this guy back up into here. Look, you actually have the broken piece right here where it, and you see that where it broke off. So leave that right here. And I'm going to get the rest of it that's broken on there off. And then here is where we're going to put in the new piece. So go get that new piece. So we take our new piece. See that little piece that has like kind of the grooves in it? What I want to do is get it so that those grooves sit on the outside. But it's kind of a tricky situation because you want to get it in here like that. Then it's getting it through there just like that. Then what I really would love to do is if I could keep a cap on it, but it looks like, let me try, I'm going to do it the other way. Let's see if we can we put those grooves kind of in on the inside. I want to see if that changes anything. So we're going to put the grooves pointed in just because I want to see. All right, so there you can, can, can you make that out? Kind of got the part, new part in there right now, putting it in through here. I'm kind of just squeezing it in there as much as I can. And, and it looks like you want to get it kind of in past that groove. And I feel like in past that groove will guarantee that it won't, you know, come out anymore. At least till it breaks again. Perfect. So now if you see... We're in there nice and tight. So what I'm gonna do real quick, I'm gonna get this piece back in. It is really hot guys. So I'm sweating so much right now. Okay, perfect. So, Want to do a quick test? Let me get the keys. We'll do a quick test. So from right here, if you look, that's reverse, that's neutral. We're in drive, and we're coming back in and down, right? So you see the cable, you can see everything moving nice and tight. It's in there nice and well. So at this point, I feel like we're good. I'm going to get everything set back up. You guys don't have to watch that. Just know that it's this cable. That thing ever lets you, leaves you stranded. Just don't flip out. You should be able to move it, okay? And worst comes to worst, if all of this goes, you can pull on this, bring it up and down um, to get you where you need to go, all right? All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Just like that, we're done. Like I said, I'll put the links to everything down below. I'm so sweaty right now. Um, but I got that done. I've been waiting a couple days because I wanted to film it just in case anybody else went through this. Um, like I said, parts aren't expensive, super easy. Just right after you get done with a mini heart attack, just take a breath, clear your mind. You'll be able to figure it out, all right? You guys be good. If you need anything, drop it down below. Bye.